Hello, good morning. Welcome to day four of my 14 day uh, mindfulness challenge. We're going to talk a little bit about today um, about our thoughts because ultimately mindfulness is here for us to be able to um, quieten our thoughts, be able to be present, be able to, you know, sit, live from the moment to moment in loving kindness. And we've, we you know, we've, we're three days in now. And, and let's be completely honest, you're doing it for a lot of people during a very difficult period. So if you can sit in mindfulness in this period, when, and it will, everything sort of subsides and calms down a little bit, mindfulness will be a lot easier to do based on you know a standard general way of life my life today on day four i have a cough my wife has a fever um so we're all a little bit you know all a little bit worried i'll do some healing and i believe and and but we'll be present and we'll be in the moment and we shall see all these things uh, really unfold but ultimately you know, one of the things that I want to come out and and the, one of the big questions I get all the time is, is meditation and mindfulness. I can't do it. Just can't do it. I'm, I'm, I've got too many thoughts. I've got too many mind thoughts. And some of the comments that come out and when people email me, they say, do you know what? The one thing that really stood out for me is when you said, I am not my thoughts. So let's take that to another level on day four. Let's think about thoughts. Okay. And our thoughts are real. Okay, but they're not true. Do you understand that? Our thoughts are real, but they are not true. Why are they real? Because they're happening. Our thoughts are there and, and, and you know, but they're not true. They are a perception of where we are at the moment. And, and that is, you know, whenever I do mindfulness and people talk about mindfulness, they say, I can't do it, my mind's really busy. And that's you and all of us. And that's you and all of us even more so at this specific time. And also remember that your mind is supposed to do that. It's like your heart is supposed to beat. Your mind is supposed to think. Yeah. And, and those are the things that we need to look at. So we're not trying to stop your mind thinking. We're going to have a much wider relationship. And through our thoughts and understanding our thoughts and having that wider relationship with our thoughts based around loving kindness is really important. When we get into our thoughts, when we start to have these thoughts, so you might have been sat down thinking before before you went into day four, what's day four going to be? Well, what we realise is, is actually when we go into our thoughts, we lose our awareness. So when we're thinking, we're not, we're not feeling my chest, we're not listening to the noise we've come away from our awareness we we lose ourselves in there and we and we how can we be aware of our thinking and and understand that you know we are not our thoughts they are real but they are not true i'll say that again they are real but they are not true and there's a great saying that i quite like is thinking is a good servant but a poor master we need to think. I, you know, I've, I've had to sit down before we started day four and think about what I'm going to do. I couldn't, well, maybe could channel it, but I, I couldn't sit here just like, okay, uh, right, okay. I have to think about it, you know, but we need to do that. We need to think. But what we need to understand sometimes is that our thoughts are real, but they're not true. We need to think about the things that we need to think about, okay? But we need to understand the work and that we can do through mindfulness that gives us this wider range of thoughts. Loving kindness meditation is where, you know, where goodness and compassion comes from. We know now that what we practice is what we grow. So if we're sat in, in fear, if we're sat in, 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 in anxiety, that's what we're going to grow. When the thoughts are our master and we're obsessing about them, it's when it drives that fear and everything into your mind. Self-judgment is one of the most popular and dilapidating thoughts that we can have at the moment. We sit there and say, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. And we wear, we talked about yesterday, we wear this groove into our mind that creates this self-doubt highway. And then every day we get in the car and we go on there. There's a great story about um, a lion, a tiger, sorry, <clears throat> who was in a zoo, who was in a 12 foot by 12 foot cage. And for 10 years, he just paced back and forth, 
left to right, left, right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. And the, in the end, the zoo got funding and built this beautiful area for this wonderful tiger to go and explore and live in and love and all of these things. And then when they opened the door for the tiger, the tiger went into this pen, got all anxious because it was it was an unreal environment for him went to the corner of the pen in a 12 by 12 meter area and started going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Although there was this beautiful plethora of beauty around him. You see, he, he was too late. It had ground this perpetual thing in his mind. Freedom is possible for all of us. And, and you know, using loving kindness and 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 not and, and not worry about the, the past or dissecting the future or whatever the scenario is you know we well, i want us to build these these beautiful compassionate empathetic loving highways so that each day when we get in the car we're going on a nice journey i want us to move our happiness standpoint that i said before but the key to unlock all of the cars, the doors, the whatever you want to say, is bring mindful attention to those patterns. So if we are having this pattern of do, 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 when we sit in mindfulness and it comes up, we realize that there, there are thoughts, but they're not the reality. And, and you recognize it and you thank the thought and you let it go. You accept, acknowledge and let it go and come back to yourself, come back to the compassion and loving kindness. What my thoughts are telling me today is not me. It's not the truth. It's really not the truth. So before we go into the loving kindness meditation, I want you just to, at the moment, just close your eyes. Okay, we're going to do a very quick meditation. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to let your attention go within. I want you to take a few breaths. And I want you just to center yourself in the middle of your chest. Just send your attention to the middle of your chest. Just feel that awareness of breathing moment by moment. Now I just want you to imagine that you stood on a farm in front of a pen where animals were. And I want you to open the gate of the pen and stand by the side of it. And in that pen are all of your thoughts that may arise. And I want you to sit now and just breathe and watch the pen. And every time a thought comes out of the pen, I would like you to count them. So when one thought arrives, you pay no attention, you accept it, acknowledge it, let it go, and count one thought. And sit and another thought may come in, you accept it, you acknowledge it, you let it go, you count two. I'm just going to leave you here now for a moment for you to count your thoughts. Just feel yourself, breathe, and know your intention is to count your thoughts. So when you're ready, just take a deep breath in. Center yourself again and just open your eyes and come back up. So you can pop in the comment section. Um, how many thoughts did you count? Was it under 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, over 40? So 
what I'm trying to say is when those thoughts come in, were they, were they audio sound bites? Were they vision? Were they still shots? Were they movies? Um, some may have been body based. So you might have felt something in your body. Some may have been sort of really sneaky thoughts thinking, well, number in a thought is a thought. I get it. And uh, you know, the next one is, am I doing this right? You know, but you know, all of these thoughts that come in, they can be represented of reality through images and, and sound bites, but they're not the truth. And the most important thing is the recognition that thoughts are real, but they are not true. They're representations of reality, but not the real world. And I think that's really key today. I want you to learn about your thoughts are, are real, but they're not true. And then we're gonna go into the loving kindness. There's a great saying, and it's this, meditation is not what you think. And I love that. So it's about being, um, uh, getting into that breath, being very mindful um, and, and realizing that if we can relax and we can be in the moment and we understand truly that our thoughts, we are not our thoughts, our thoughts are real, but they're not true. We can really make a difference and notice the difference between your thoughts and your awareness. And when you come back through meditation and doing the things that we do, you can then bring that into every day. You don't have to go into a deep meditation. If you have a thought come in, you just, even when you're not in meditation, you understand that this thought is real, but it's not true. I hope that helps. Um, enjoy the loving kindness. Tomorrow we're gonna do um, the body scan, which will be interesting on day five. Day four here. Thank you, watch this bit, and I'll be back with you soon. Thank you. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put a nice image up. And I'm going to sound a bell for us to start. And all I want you to do now is focus on your breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathe it out. And just focus on where your breath is. Where do you feel it most? Is it through your nostrils? Is it on your t-shirt? Is it on your jumper? Where do you feel? Do you feel your, your belly moving in and out? Breathing in and breathing out. And to start this, we're going to offer loving kindness to ourselves. And I want you to focus on the intention of these words. And I want you to continually repeat these words. And if you have a thought that comes in, you welcome it, you love it, you let it go, and you come back to the mantra. So as we're breathing in, I want you to say these words. Breathing in, may I be safe. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be healthy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I live with ease. Breathing out. Repeat the mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Continue that mantra as you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And if you have any thoughts that come in, you welcome them, you love them, you let them go, and you come back to your mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Welcome this beautiful love into your life, to be kind to yourself to connect in with yourself, to love yourself, to heal yourself. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, May I live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is just, with your eyes closed, choose someone in your life that you love. 
or someone that inspires you, someone you think about, who you're grateful for. And I want you to picture that person in your mind. And on this occasion, as you're breathing in, you say simply, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. This is loving kindness for somebody else who is someone you love, someone inspires you, put them in your mind, see them and set the intention of may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And don't forget, if you have a thought, just let it welcome in. Hold it. Don't put any judgment on it. Accept it, acknowledge it, let it go. And come back to your mantra for this person that you love. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. Now the focus, we're going to focus on someone you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, maybe someone who's ill. And we're going to offer them kindness. So if there's somebody you know who is in self-isolation or isn't feeling very well at the moment, I want you to place their in your intention in your mind, with them in your mind. And you say again, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. This is somebody who you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, who may be ill. Set the intention of that person, put them in your mind's eye. And as you do, you say to yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And if you find your attention or your mind wanders, don't worry. Just love it, let it go and return back to your phrases, your mantra. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. These mantras are now your anchor. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And what I'd like you to do is choose someone in your life that you might have difficulty with or have some tension with or have had an issue with or something hasn't sat right between the both of you for a little bit of time. This one can be difficult, but we set the attention and we put them in our mind's eye and we say to them in our mantra, breathing in and breathing out, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And again, if something, a thought comes in, I want you to allow it in, accept it, acknowledge it, put no judgment, love it and let it go. And come back to your anchor, your mantra. For the person who you may have had difficulty with, have had an argument with, there's some tension between you. Set the attention, put them in your mind's eye and say, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy and may you live with ease. And if at any point you find that difficult, then you can just direct it back to yourself. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Now I'd like you 
at this moment to direct your loving kindness, your attention and your intention to all forms of life, people, animals, all beings, those people who need it most all over the world at this very difficult time. And I want you to say for them, may all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And again, if you have any thoughts, you let them in, you let them go, and off you go. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be live with ease. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Take a deep breath in and as you do, I just want you to slowly just recenter yourself on the chair and get your sense of awareness and feel your twiggle your fingers or, or move your toes and come back into the room and open your eyes. So, well done. Day four of loving kindness. And um, there's been a few questions about, you know, this is really helping people um, and can we do it longer than 14 days? Um, I joked a little bit because... If we're mindful, we shouldn't be worried about the future or dissecting the past. We should just be in the moment and appreciate the one we've got today. But let's think about it. We understand at the moment there needs to be this support network. And I'll commit to doing it as long as I can do it um, from a physical health or whatever standpoint. And let's hope that remains the same. I will do it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, and finally, really, I hope you haven't forgotten today. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you can subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Leave your comments about how it's felt. And of course, if you can share this video, that would be wonderful as well. We need to get as many people into this as possible because as I said before, I'd like the minimum amount of losses, but the maximum amount of impact. When we come out of this um, you know, fragile state, I hope we're stronger inside. Thank you very much for watching. Be love and give love. God bless and see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.